What's going on, Bellflowers? Guinevere the Recovering Witch here. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you are new, hi, welcome, let's be friends. Please do me a solid and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up down below and be sure to comment as well. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be talking about aura photography. And um, I was lucky enough a couple weeks ago, I was at a holistic spiritual event um, that is here locally in Houston. It is called the Awakening Spirit Houston. And there are many vendors who go, there's tarot readers, there's uh, Reiki healers, there's many different types of people offering these services. And um, there was a lady, her name is Debbie Lambert, Dear friends. She has a business called Head to Toe Healing. And she has a little machine where you put your hand on, set up with the laptop and it reads your aura colors. And it talks about showing where your chakra levels are and uh, seeing what's off balance. Wish I had that on a daily basis. I wanted to talk about that a little bit um, and I'm going to show you the video at the end of this little intro um, of my aura reading so you can see what's going on there. I will show you my video of the whole recording of me getting my aura read and you get to see my aura and my chakra fillers and balance off balance and stuff. I'm not really, uh, I'm still in that process of a beginner and learning about chakras and the colors and aura. And unfortunately, I'm not one of those really naturally talented and gifted people who can read aura colors yet. In 1970, Guy Coggins built a camera that could capture people's auras or your electromagnetic field surrounding your body. And so, again, I was very lucky enough to have Debbie read mine. And she used her aura cloud 3D. Um, again, the name of her business had to tell healing. I found it very educational. Um, very interesting, very inspiring, and very enlightening. And um, yeah, so when I know when I'm having those days and feeling off, I need to kind of go back and look at what's going on with my aura and what's going on with my chakras. I will post in the comment section down below if you'd like, if you are in the area and would like to get a hold of Debbie and her business and getting your aura read if you like. This device read my aura, um, and uh, I guess I should give you the color meanings, huh? Many types of colors in the aura. You've got blue, you can have red, brown, green, pink, tan, purple, yellow, gray, turquoise, orange, black, silver, gold, and white. We're all trying to get to a white aura, I guess. But anyway, um, just to kind of give a little synopsis, blue means tranquility, calmness, love, loyalty, security, trust, intelligence. Again, I'm just reading this roughly from just a website somewhere. Um, not that it could be accredited, but it, they all typically have about the same meaning. Um, red means love, energy, power, strength, passion, uh, heat. Okay. And I also had green, meaning money, growth, fertility, freshness, and healing. Green, you are a healer if you have it. Yellow means bright energy, sun, creative, intellect, and happy. And if you have hit white, you have made it, okay? White is goodness, innocence, purity, fresh, easy, clean, all right? You've hit the source, okay? I had a lot of blue, green, yellow. Um, there was a little bit of orange, some red. I wanted to know if anybody else has done um, aura photography uh, where they capture your picture um, and seeing where you are on the spectrum. Um, let me know, please comment. I'd love to hear um, what your thoughts are on this. If you are not in the Houston area, do not worry. There are many people, if you just search, uh, you will find people who do aura photography. So again, um, just wanted to share the experience and I hope you enjoy. Let's see how beautiful you are. Let's see that beautiful energy. Isn't that gorgeous, that is you. This is how people perceive you. This is how you perceive your future. This is how you're connected to the stars, and this is how you're connected to the earth. You have 114 chakras, but we only pay attention to the seven because they go up and down the spine. Okay? Mm -hmm. You've heard a thousand times, and I know you have been taught. You see this bubble right there? Mm -hmm. That is what you call a shell. Mm -hmm. If you do not put up that protective shell, 
and you have all, all women I know, you know the power of putting that protective shell up. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, this is what your energy looks like. Mm -hmm. And everybody's attaching themselves. Mm -hmm. That is what your chakras look like. Actually, you're very well balanced, considering all in all, you're 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 not bad. You're really you're really not bad. And don't forget, we're a beautiful work in progress. Oh yeah. And that is your energy field. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> okay. You see this orange? Mm -hmm. It's a very creative. You have a lot of compassion. You see this? People look at you as a healer. You see this? Mm -hmm. It tells me you're very intelligent. You're far more intelligent than what you think you are. Oops. You better put it back, huh? There we go. That way I can read everything. Okay. This is your root chakra. Mm -hmm. It is from your hips on down. Do you feel safe here on earth? Do you feel safe with your family? Do you feel safe being who you are? Anytime your root chakra gets upset, this is when you take off your shoes and go around here, put it in your red jasper. Any red stones are really good ones. I don't know why I'm telling you that. You already know. Oh, <laughs> you already know, but uh, it's a little tight. So, um, and don't forget, this is going to change. You know, your thoughts change, and somebody comes up and talks to you. This is your navel. Your set is set, set. Say it for me. Sacral. Sacral. Yes, thank you. It's two inches below your belly button. And it's, um, you have seven glasses of water. You have a red, orange, yellow, green, and all the colors of your chakra. What you did was take water out of this chakra and you put it into that chakra. And so that one's a little, this is your stomach. This is your intestine. Mm -hmm. That is where you hold your emotions, and that is also where you have your sex drive. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is your solar plex. This is the liver. The liver is where you hold your anger, and it's where you hold your forgiveness. Okay. It is your gallbladder, the gall of the nerve. How could I do that? Or the gall of the nerve? How could you do that? You know. And it also represents your kidneys, which represents fears. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is your heart. You do have a beautiful heart. It's a beautiful, beautiful heart chakra. You see how these are spinning like little ceiling fans? Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. You see, that's a very nice, well-balanced heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> your heart, these are your earth chakras. These are your spiritual, your shark. Your heart is basically the, the bridge for the, the bridge from the uh, earth to the spiritual world when it comes to chakras. Your Okay, now this is where you where okay, you see how your throat's out of place? Mm -hmm. You know why? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you see how this is so tight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes in your personal life you don't speak up for yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you have a lot of emotions that you hold mm -hmm. back. And you you get mad at yourself mm -hmm. for not speaking up. Do you see how the chakras all affect each other? And, and don't worry, you're a woman. That's uh, women. That's us. That, congratulations, <laughs> you are a woman. And you know, this is your beautiful third eye. Now, um, when it comes to a, a reading, you're probably superb. But when it comes to trusting yourself in your personal life, you doubt yourself. Is that beautiful, though? And you are very well connected to the stars. Is that gorgeous mm -hmm. how you're connected to the stars? Is that beautiful? Okay, we're going to play. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Don't you just love this? That's so cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to send this to you on a 15-page PDF, so don't worry about remembering okay. this. But this is, uh, okay, you, this, you're grounded in intelligence. You're far more intelligent than what you give yourself credit. Um, so, see this blue? People look at you as a very calm person. You see that green? It's very healing and very communicative, socializing and everything. Okay? The yellow, that's intelligence. Mm -hmm. Okay, right here at your chakras. Let me, let me just put this one down. 
Okay, right here's your chakras. Okay, this is your yin and yang. You're saying that uh, this chakra and this chakra is really a little bit out of balance. And those are the two that that's trying to balance each other that's that's having problems. This is how far your energy goes out. You know that it starts here as a water spout. Mm -hmm. You know the okay, it goes out nine feet that way and nine feet out that way. You're only putting out 40%. You need to start putting out more because the more you put out, the more you manifest. Okay. Okay. You want, okay. Now, okay. <clears throat> Look how you're connected to the stars. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Now, this is where, I, this is what I like. Okay. Your voice. Okay. Say the word love, love, love. Say the word love three times. Love, 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 love. Love, love, love. Okay. Um, the universe is saying so what? It's just a word. It means nothing. But now let's put intent behind it. I choose to love myself. I choose to love myself. I choose to love myself. See? I choose to love myself. I choose to love myself. I choose to love myself. See how you spoke and it changed? Okay. Okay. Now let's go to anytime you say choose, the universe comes in with all of its might right there. It's less a holy second. It's a choice. It's a conscious choice. Now, anytime you say I am, you're attaching yourself to it. It's like I am and it's ooh. so I am love, I am love, I am love. Three times. I am love. I am love, I am love, I am love. See how your stomach has opened up? See how your heart's starting to open up? See how loving yourselves? And, and this is not vain or cruel right. or anything. This this is just, you know. It's the self-love that we all lack a lot of the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's somebody you love? Who's somebody Hi. special? Hi, Abby. And what's his name? His name's Freddie. Okay. <laughs> I love Freddie. 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 See, it doesn't. Because you said so what? So what you love Freddie. I choose to love Freddie. I choose to love Freddie. I choose to love three times. I choose to love Freddie. I choose to love Freddie. Watch this. See how this is changing? See how your emotions are? Okay, let's go higher. Okay, you want you want to enhance it? Walk up to him and straighten that high and say, I choose to love you. And you will actually feel the energy. Because you're not just saying, I love you. You're making a conscious choice. Mm -hmm. And then to look at him in the eye. I had a man do that to a woman and he broke down into your home. Because it's such a powerful feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am in love with my husband, Freddie. 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 See the power of that? Mm -hmm. That's the power of the voice. Anytime you say, I want, I need, I, I, I try, those are all negative words. Mm -hmm. And so, but, oh, that's my, my big one. And I'm trying to, I'm working on eliminating that. I just said the word try, but that is a negative word. And so those are, you know, okay. Let's go to the power of your thoughts, okay? In your mind's eye, do not tell me because I really don't want to know. I choose to forgive myself for three times in your mind's eye and don't say a word to me. This is the power of your thoughts right there. That is how powerful your thoughts are. The most important conversation you're going to ever have in your life is a conversation you have with yourself. When you have a conversation, okay, when you have a conversation with yourself, your brain has one job and one job only, and that is to keep you alive. Okay, so how you talk to yourself creates a picture in your the brain creates a picture. From that, while it's creating the picture, it's creating the feelings, and the feelings are creating your actions. Your actions are creating your outcome. And that is manifestation. Okay. okay. If you see anybody angry, if you see someone angry more than two minutes, they're faking it. Because you cannot be angry that long. 
Yeah, I just learned that. I just love that. <laughs> I learned that. I, was, I, I, I learned so much as I go, and I just was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe just spent the. Okay, let's go to the. Okay. In the 60s, her name was. Uh, uh, when it was open on bingo, I went to her small workshop, mm -hmm. and it was a three day workshop. Renown Reiner. This is back in the 60s. She was walking by, and the lady said, Oh, come on, come in and meditate. So she meditated. Well, the next day they pulled her in and meditated. Well, and they meditated. But they got her in this cabin of meditating. So when she heard a company, she continued meditating, meditating, meditating. She meditated so much that the FBI came in and asked her to teach them how to meditate. She was so good that the FBI called her in to have her work with cold cases. To oh, have wow. okay. She got through so good that six countries have asked her to solve cases all through meditation. And I cannot tell you the power of meditation. If you want anything, meditate. Mm -hmm. Meditate and be aware of the words you say to yourself. So, mm -hmm. you know what belly breathing is? I go, mm -hmm. you know, Okay, come yeah. on, watch this and watch this. Watch how powerful your breath is. Your breath isn't just anything. Your breath is the first thing you do. Okay, when you, if your first thing you do, you're in pain and love. The second thing is you're giving it away. When you pass away, when you cross over, the last thing you do is you give breath. It, it, you give your breath away. Okay, so your breath is what you know your life. But your breath is the bridge from the conscious to your subconscious. And that's why meditation is so important. So, right there, go ahead and meditate. You're a good breather. Okay, you want to open your eyes for just a moment? Now, look how look how you've connected the stars and how your intuition just opened up. Okay. I would like for you to hold this and put it on over your third eye and meditate for just a moment. Do some deep breathing. Watch this. See how this moved big time. Mm -hmm. See how your third eye just opened up with that stone? Mm -hmm. Is that just amazing? Is it, you know, I just love that. I used to put my animals crystal up here a lot. Okay, let me go get a yeah, amethyst. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. That's good. That's good. We, again, we choose and use what we got. It's all right. Okay. No, we are. It's Let's use your jewelry. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm, I'm going to save this. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. No, put your hand back on there. Okay, we're recording again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jewelry. Put it on your third eye. Okay. okay. And see how your it came down? Mm -hmm. okay. Close your eyes. Just take some deep breaths. Whoa, that really empowered your root chakra. What is this? This is just an uh, old silver spoon that I had from, I call it my prior life. Okay, because that just, yeah. your root chakra was really tight and it just, whoa. Okay, try another one. This is nice. I love to play like this if you don't mind. Whatever that stone is, look how well balanced your chakras are. Look how well balanced everything is. What are you holding? That's the 
Really? Oh, wow. That's beautiful. That is just absolutely beautiful. I love doing this, by the way. I just <laughs> enjoy this because it is. It's, and, and we think nothing of these stones, but the power of these stones are just so yeah. amazing. Oh, I'm going to try my little. My, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is called a, a red coral. Okay. And it is silver and it's infused with about 20 different oils. Okay. And you want to put it up there and see what it does? I love that. Wow. Look at what it did. Is that amazing? Wow, that is powerful. Okay, can you turn it around on the red uh, the red coral yeah. side? <clears throat> that was the silver side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, silver uh, silver affects your body because uh, when you had that silver on there, it, it you were more balanced. But then. Uh, when you did the silver on that side, you were well balanced. But when you're doing the the red mm -hmm. coral, it's not as balanced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put it back up there. I thought that was really interesting. See how it's just how it affects. Is that amazing? Just amazing. It is really cool. It is. One thing I like about this is because you're getting a visual on everything. It's just, I'm not telling you about everything. It's like, oh my gosh, it really works. It really works. I don't know how it works the same way. The tarot cards is just kind of like, yeah, the plates are going to get your time. When I pull the cards, and then it's like, have you been going through this lately? And it's like, I didn't even say anything to you. And now it's like, the cards don't lie, and Jordan's lying. <laughs> Whatever you do, I want you to continue to work with silver because this was down in the 40s. You're over 60. You're almost 70 out there. And so you're close to being manifestation level. So when you put that silver out there on your forehead, it made a big difference. Look how well balanced you are. Okay, love. I am going to stop the recorder.